Hi, beautiful. Welcome to day four. We are going to talk about self-love and self-care today. So first and foremost, if you want to, um, first let's start out by reading Esther, um, the second chapter if you want. Um, if you've never read the book of Esther, I highly suggest you go back and at least read the first and second chapters. Um, we will get more in depth as we go along in this series. Um, but, you know, the Bible, it was really written to be read out loud and read in a group and shared with others. So um, tonight we're just going to start out with the book of Esther. I know the, the lines kind of work because I'm late, I'm late um, filming this. So um, it's the only time I have. So <laughs> bear with me. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to read um, not the whole chapter, chapter two, just a couple verses. So chapter Esther chapter one is... Um, then the king's per personal assistants proposed, let the search be made for beautiful young virgins for the king. Let the king appoint commissions to every providence for him to realm and bring all these beautiful girls to the harem. All right, that's the third chapter or third verse of chapter two. Okay, did you catch that? Beautiful young virgins. Okay, I want you to keep that in mind. And then um, it drops down. We're going to drop down to... Uh, before the girl's turn to come to go to King Xerius, she had to complete 12 months, 12 months of beauty treatments prescribed for the women, six months with oil and myrrh, and then six months with perfume and cosmetics. Okay, did you catch that? Beautiful young virgins. Okay, they were beautiful to begin with. Then they had to go through six months of oils and then six months more months of um, cosmetics. Okay, so now it's women. This kind of tends to freak us out a little bit. What I'm about to say may be a little controversial, but before you freak out, just sit back, listen, just take it all in and breathe. Okay, here's a little secret about men. Men are visual, okay? You can like it, you can hate it, whatever. It's going to make your life a lot easier if you just accept the fact that men are visual. They like to look at beautiful women. That's how God made them, and we need to embrace that. I will tell you this, though. For men, just like women, uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, okay? So men love all the women in the world, okay? You see lots of women with lots of different guys. There's all kinds of couples out there, and they all love each other, and they're all attracted to each other, okay? So today what we're going to talk about, number one thing I tell my clients is um, don't ever be fake. Don't ever be, um, try to put a facade and try to be something that you're not. So what I would like to come across today is um, they had to go through beauty treatments for an entire year before they were ready to go and see King Xerius. So maybe we have to prepare ourselves, if you look at it this, as it applies to our life, let's prepare ourselves for you know, I don't know if that's the entire year, but prepare yourself for your king to come into your life, okay? But I want you to start with stuff that you really love, lo that you love. What's your favorite colors? What's your favorite scents? What's the favorite fabric that you like to wear? What do you like to do for fun? All of those things you need to start doing on a regular basis. Everything that you love. It doesn't matter what it is. I mean, you can love the color blue, the color pink. You can like denim. You can like silk. It's whatever you like, as long as you're being true and authentic to yourself. Don't be going out and buying stuff that the man likes, okay? So, um, anyways, so yeah, so that's my blog tip for today, is to um, just do self-care. You can read more about it in the blog. I got about 20 suggestions, and of course, those are just suggestions. Those are just the tip of the iceberg. But this week, this month, you know, the next three months, I want you to really focus on what you would like to do. I would like you to incorporate, like you can buy somebody a cup of coffee. You can, um, you know, go for a walk, watch a sunset. Um, there's a lot of a million things you can do for free to make yourself happy. And then there's a million things you can do to buy yourself to make yourself happy, but just to make yourself feel beautiful. Buy lotion that you really like. Um, buy a bubble bath that you really like. You can take a bubble bath and drink wine. Just something every day that makes you feel beautiful on the inside. Because what makes you feel beautiful on the inside will resonate and it'll just go out into the world and men pick up on it. Okay, the energy is everywhere. You can think it's woo-woo and crazy, 
but it's there. If you feel beautiful on the inside, you'll be beautiful on the outside and you will attract the king that you want. Men like to be around things that are beautiful and that feel good. So hence, you need to do self-care and self-love every single day. So for more information, check out my blog below. Thanks and have a great night.